How's it going, everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a guide on how to get the Generous Sacrifice achievement in the Offering. This is probably the most difficult achievement to get, and has probably one of the lowest percentage of people who have actually gotten it, but it's actually kind of easy once you figure out the trick. So what you need to do is, first off, you gotta ditch the player model character. Unfortunately, um, it just cannot be done without it, so just go into Appearance, and you can change yourself to be one of the four default options. So it could be any of the ones over there, male, female, the milk carton, or a spooky skeleton. I'm going to be the skeleton because he's a skeleton. Next thing you want to do is go into the magic tab and select a large potion. And if you don't know how to get a large potion, they are located over by the lighthouse. And all you have to do is just go to the shop the stray and you can buy one there. It's located here underneath the potions tab. It just costs 1,000 units, so if you do this guide, the achievement will pay for itself. So once you have the large potion equipped, you'll be double the size, and we just have one final thing to get set up. What you're going to want to do is go into the settings tab, go under graphics, and then change your field of view all the way down. That's going to go to 50, and that's what you need it to be in order for this to line up properly. Once you have everything set up here, we're ready to get going. So select a ball once you get in the game, and you're going to want to put it just about in this position. This is a little bit off, but uh, I'm going to get it corrected here in just a second. And what you're going for is almost a pixel perfect position. So right here is where I was finally able to get it lined up just right. And all I'm doing is just clicking. I'm not holding it down or anything too crazy like that. I'm just clicking. Now right here, I go a little bit faster. That's just to sort of prove that you kind of want to go slow. If you try and speed up and speed through this, you're not going to get as many points and you're not going to be as accurate. But what you can do is play multiple rounds just like this. So as long as you don't have to go get more tokens, then you can continue to play in this exact same position. So this round here is one of my better rounds. What you need to do to get 5,000 points is get at least 10 of the balls into the center cup there. Keep in mind that if it does happen to bounce out, you can get more points. You know, the uh, blue cups are worth 300, so there is a chance that you can actually still get the achievement, maybe just getting nine of them in the pot. But it just takes a little bit of time, and again, all you're doing is clicking. It's just a, you know, a light tap. You're not holding it, you're not charging it, you're not doing really anything too crazy, you're just clicking. Also, special shout out to Breed of Speed for making his guide, which is exactly what I'm following right now. And as you can see, I have the maximum number of points that you can get in the offering, which is 6,300. This is something that takes maybe a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, but again, once you find it in that position there, you just have to continue clicking in the right way. You don't want to click it for too long, and it's not quite a tap, it's just a, it's a click. You're going to have to maybe play around with it a bit, but that's just what it's going to be. So I hope that you all enjoyed this guide, I hope that you can get this achievement. You now have something that's quite rare in this game, and hopefully this can help you get all the other achievements in the arcade. Thanks again for watching.